challenging practice. You're given two numbers, 3.987 and 40.140. A. Round each number to the nearest tenth. To the nearest tenth, that's the tenth place. And to round the number to the nearest tenth, look at the next place value, which is the hundredth. So since 8 is more than 5, we have to go up to the next highest tenth value. So it is 4.0. So to get to the nearest hundredth, let's erase this. To get to the nearest hundredth, this is the hundredth place. We look at the thousandth place. So since 7 is more than 5, we have to go to the nearest, go up to the near, next nearest hundredth. So this will be 3.99 and the difference is 0 0.01. Next to the nearest tenth, to the nearest tenth, we have to look at the next place value, which is the hundredth. So since four is less than five, so the answer is seventy point one, and to the nearest hundredth, same thing. Nearest hundredth. Look at the next value. It is 0, which is less than 5. So it is 70.14. And the difference is 0 0.04. For question 2, 4.129. So 4.129 can be written as 4 plus 0 0.1. This is 0 0.1 plus 0. 0 to 9. So how do we change this to a fraction? So 29 over. So we have 1, 2, 3, 3 place values over here. So it's going to be a thousand. So this is going to be a thousand. Next we have question 3. For question 3 we have 2.057. So 2 plus. So we do not know what is this yet. But we do know that we have a 5 here. So 5 in this case is 0 0.005. So similarly, how do we change 0 0.005 to a fraction? We have 1, 2, 3 over here. So it's going to be 3 zeros. So it's 5,000. So it's 1,000. So this is 1,000. So we have this left over here. So this is 0 0.07. And how do we change 0 0.07 to a fraction? So over here, we have to change to a fraction, and the, the denominator is 1,000. So we have to add another 0 here to make it easier for ourselves. So this is going to be 70. So 70. The last one. So 3.157. So 3.157 is equals to something over 1,000 plus zero plus seven thousand so this is going to be 0 0.007 so this over here will have to be 3150 so 3150 problem solving question one so kimberly has 3.25 kilograms of flour she has 45 grams so how many kilograms of flour does she have now so we have 3.25 kilograms we have 45 grams and we want to change this to kilogram. We know that there are 1,000 grams in 1 kilogram. So 45 thousandths. So this will be 0 0.045 kilograms. When we add it up, it's going to be 3.295 kilogram. For question 2, we have to arrange these four weights in ascending order from least to greatest. So by inspection, we know this is going to be the greatest because 52 52 tenths is much, it's actually more than one whole. So this is actually 8 and 2 tenths. So this is definitely the greatest. So now let's compare 3 and 1 fifth with the rest. So 3 and 1 fifth, you can first change to tenth. So this would be times 2. And then we can change to a thousand. So we have to multiply by hundredth so this would be so let's see so now we have this 
and we have this and we have this and we have this so to arrange in ascending order we would first have this is going to be the first one this is the smallest followed by this the second one followed by this the third one so we'll write back the original form followed by this the fourth one and we'll write back the original form